Hope you will this writer here to review the Kamen Rider Geats Kamen Rider Core ID set. So this is the this is a premium Bandai set of core IDs comprising of the writers within the first and second DGP games. So basically the first quarter of Geats. So here we have the core IDs for Shiro, Ginpen, the Pawn, Mary, and Kairo, and then from Movie Battle Royale, we have Revi, as Vice was a movie ticket item, a general movie ticket item within that time. And the top, we have the uh, end card, basically, of Geats with the writer rule, or the DGP rule. Mornings, contents, all that stuff. And then the content list with the QR code for the PDF file. Last but not least, we actually at least, uh, we have the last three core IDs within this set. So we have the cracked versions of Ginpen, Shiro, and Buffa. So then you can actually properly use this thing and such. Pretty neat box overall. So here are the core IDs out of their bags. Um, we're gonna look at these ones mostly just because. I mean, we're just gonna look at them in chronological debut order. So again, here is our first one. Here is Shiro, or I think it's supposed to be Shirori, but I think it's supposed to be Shiro. It's just. For some reason, they romanized it at Shiro Wi <laughs> and such. I do like the clear uh, white overall. I think it's pretty neat. And obviously, Shiro, I do like the uh, blue and such. And then, to complement that, we have the cracked version and such. Which, again, just kind of like the Discord ID, they only uh, had to redo the top. And such, to which I do like the detailing of the cracked cores. Though it's just really off-putting to see more than one paint application on the core IDs. <laughs> but I mean, I think they did a good job with the silver. And such. And then, next up we have Ginpen, which is pretty simple. Kind of like Nago. Actually, no. Uh, the this one's actually more uh, clear than Nago, but you know, we got white. And then we have the cracked core ID. And um, I think, well, I mean, here's Mary. This one's definitely probably like one of the standouts of the set just due to it actually being a different color. And I do like the light shade of pink Mary is and such. And then here we have Dupon, the second bear. And basically is the same um, plastic or the same like shade as Shiro and then now at this point we do have all three bears and I really do like how each one adds in more details which is pretty interesting <laughs> and then uh, here we have Cairo from the second DGP game, or technically the third one. To which, again, I really like this brown that they gave him and such. And, as you can tell, it's a... It's Ginpen with more of an owl motif, motif instead of an 
a penguin. To which I actually really do like how much more they added to this, honestly. And then, second to last, we have one half of this pair. We got Revi, to which the translucent blue is pretty neat, and the pink. It's definitely interesting to not see purple, <laughs> but I mean, it works and such. And again, it's just really cool for this to actually exist, because it's cool to actually see official uh, writers like official writers outside of the DGP to have their own core IDs and such. And here we have Buffa's cracked core ID. Which again is the same as the DX, not the DX, the original release from the raised buckle holder. Just now cracked. To which I do appreciate that all the cracked cores are differently molded to uh, closely uh, resemble the how they were cracked within the show. So that's a nice uh, piece of detail. So let's use all of them within the desire jar. All right, so obviously these are core IDs. You know how they work. Because what the, the issue is that none of these writers have entry forms, or they do, but you never, no one transforms into these things only. So we'll only do an entry form transformation for one writer. Because Shiro, we never saw him transform. <laughs> we did, but all we saw was him do that. <laughs> because then, he died. So, <laughs> Ginpen is kind of hard to do. So, Gimpen, we will just transform straight into Arrow. And I think he held it like this. If you see this flickering, my desire driver is dying. Speaking of dying. He died. So... Then, we will do both of Mary's buckles. And we're not doing finishers because the majority of them never did finishers. Mary might, might have with chain array, but... Here we go with the pawn, because the pawns is interesting. Because the pawn, to do his specific transformation, you actually need to overwrite the turning of the barrel. So, you know, just some nice uh, variation and such. And speaking of for being forgetful, 
we are going to need to have Ninja for this one. And again, Cairo pulls it in and out. And then, in the sad case of Cairo, all of his buckles were hand-me-downs. So, now his core buckle is propeller. Water. So you can tell my desire driver is dying because the white is now yellowing out. And then, actually, we'll keep the power because Revi. So Revi is an interesting Revi and Vice are interesting because. Uh, First of all, I don't. Okay, so we did see like them, you know, like you know, insert the core IDs into here to get the entry sound. However, we never saw them slot in the buckle. So we're just gonna insert the core with the buckle. Which then I if I I don't recall personally of which sound Revi used, so we're just gonna stick with the last one. And then I'm pretty sure he we, again we never saw him use the like interact with this, <laughs> so I think that he did press it twice. <laughs> Now that is Revive Beat, to which then Ace somehow had a propeller buckle because Revive needed to fly with Ace, or Iki needed to fly with Ace due to him already transforming into command. And obviously, there is one more form, but we can't touch upon it because you're going to have to wait a half year. <laughs> but I mean, at least this buckle has things we can do. And now, last but not least, we can be like Michinaga and struggle using, <laughs> getting this core in until we slam it. And now we can actually use this with this core. So now we are Buffa Jamato form. And then he evolved. Using the zombie buckle he stole from... Sai? I was going to call her Saki. So... <laughs> Um, basically how this works, to get this correctly, you're gonna have to, like, so you can either struggle like me and, like, insert both of them at the same time, like how he does in the show, or you have to insert this first, then insert this, then turn this. However, zombie is just not wanting to work. <laughs> to get the zombie Jamato, but the, at the same time that wasn't done correctly because then if I tried to do that again 
Oh, that's the first time I was here when the poster fell. But obviously, to do the finisher, you're going to have to activate this. And then... To do Hyper Zombie, hyper zombie Victory. <laughs> it's... Again, a lot of people were complaining how you can't do the Zombie Dramato transformation. But I mean, you just have to be smart about it. Last but not least, this was this core was the first that Michinaga actually used Command Twin, even though he actually is going to use it with his normal core. Obviously, the difference is just that his tail coat is just a different color, which then. The poster completely falls. So there, Buffa is now the third official writer to actually use this form, and probably the last one because they keep, they're basically reusing the parts for other forms, and I guess they just never want to give it to Nago. Poor Neon. <laughs> but we will get to final thoughts after I clean up the poster. <laughs> So overall, like, this is a really simple set, but I mean, I do like the variety of it overall. I I think my only gripe about it is just color variety. Uh, like, I mean, I like the variety of writers, obviously. And just, like, the formations you can do. I just think my gripe about it is the color variety, because it's just a lot of... There's not that much distinctive colors <laughs> and such. Like... I'm surprised that we've we're never going to get a red core ID uh, and such like it's just a bunch of white black and then like we get the one outlier because buffa doesn't count because this one's still dark and such but like again I do like the selection for the most part again the only weird thing about the selection is that there's no letter, <laughs> and letter got pushed into set two, all because they really wanted to push Revi into here, which is, again, really weird. So if you are a Revice fan, you are going to basically be forced into buying into these cores that you potentially don't want. Yeah, you can find these through, you can find the, you can find people selling these individually, on like Makari and such, and for the most part, like I see Mary and Revi for like under ten dollars, but like the cracked versions, for example, are really expensive, and other than that, like I mean, I see gim pens for like underneath like ten or so, and I guess as for like my favorite writers out of this set. Honestly, I think it has to go with the pawn. Like, I think his, like, core ID is probably just the most perfect, in my opinion, and such. And, you know, it's cool that, like, he actually... I think it's also probably just because he's one of the very few that actually just have, a like, the one-and-done buckle. And Revi has to probably be, like, the second favorite. It's just that, you know, it, it's not complete without Vice, so... <laughs> It's just kind of unfortunate I don't have both of them right now and such. I honestly, I, I can care less about the cracked cores, especially these two, because they didn't do anything. At least buff us, make, they actually gave a reason why you would want to use it. But other than that, I do think this is a solid set overall and such. And luckily, I think getting the full set at first, like, again, this is the US release of the set, to which wasn't much. It was like about like $45 or so, 
because again this all of these together are like three dollars each so this is like about like thirty dollars or so and then obviously you have to accommodate for all the extra things to do the for the cracked cores and such but hopefully uh within like Mandarake and such in the aftermarket you can get these for like about forty dollars or so do not pay more than that obviously because these are just pieces of plastic that you can just have that you can shine a light on and such but if you really don't want the full set at least i guess try to find these individually or like find the selection you want and such but yeah um i'll have to do with this review so this is Ryder and all of you people